the Capital Asset Pricing Model, CAPM, is a financial model that aims to describe the relationship between systematic risk and expected return for assets, particularly stocks. It provides a framework for investors to evaluate the risk and return of a particular investment, and it is widely used in the investment industry. The core concept of the KPM is that the expected return on an investment should be directly related to its systematic risk, also known as beta. The model takes into account the risk-free rate of return, the market risk premium, and the beta of the asset in question to calculate the expected return. The risk-free rate is the return an investor would expect from an investment with zero risk, typically represented by a government bond. The market risk premium is the additional return that investors require for taking on the risk of investing in the overall market as opposed to a risk-free asset. Beta is a measure of the sensitivity of an asset's return to changes in the market return. The formula for the CAPM is as follows. The RF plus B, um, RF where we expected return on the investment or risk-free rate of return being one beta of them. Investment RM here market E return the CAPM provides a way for investors to quantify the relationship between risk and return, allowing them to make informed decisions about their portfolios by comparing the expected return of an investment to its actual return. Investors can assess whether the um, investment has provided adequate compensation for the level of risk involved. One of the criticisms of the CAPM is that it relies on certain assumptions such as the idea that investors are solely motivated by risk and return and that all investors have access to the same information. In reality, the behavior of investors is influenced by a variety of factors and not all investors have access to the same information. Additionally, the CAPM assumes that the market is efficient, meaning that asset prices reflect all available information. However, this assumption has been challenged by research in behavioral finance and market anomalies. Despite its limitations, the CAPM remains a widely used tool for evaluating the risk and return of investments. It provides a valuable framework for understanding the relationship between risk and return and for making rational investment decisions. As with any model, it is important for investors to consider its assumptions and limitations when using the CAPM to guide their investment strategies.